Hi, grief growers. Thank you so much for listening today. I've stepped away from the mic for just a little bit to gear up for season seven of Coming Back, which premieres on September 4th, 2019. But in the meantime, I wanted to bring you some never before heard clips from season six. On this In the Meantime episode, I'm sharing part of my chat with Richard Pryor, who's the author of Warriors of Life. Richard lost his 27-year-old son very unexpectedly, and after his death, he heard something that a lot of us hear in loss. Time heals all. In this piece of our conversation, we're talking about how time can help us cope with loss, and what Richard believes to be true now about time. Take a listen. People's, you know, you talk to people initially when when they've gone, they, you know, they they lose somebody and it's and it's you know, and then after a few years they say it, it gets easier with time, and it does, <laughs> it really does. And I don't like telling people that you know when they first have a loss because that's what I I didn't want to hear that either because I said oh you're full of it. There's no way this is going to get easier. Helpless, hopeless. I'm never going to be happy again. And that's kind of how, you know, I went, but it does, but it does get easier. And one person told me one little piece of advice. She said, Richie, just take things one second at a time. And then maybe down the line, maybe it'll be a month, a year. You could take it, you know, a minute at a time. And I really took those words to heart. And when she said that to me, it's like, yeah, that's it. I don't have to think too far in the future. One step in front of the other and take each day as it comes. Yeah, that was definitely something my mom said as she was actively dying. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes I would look at her and be like, you know, you're dying, right? (laughs) I was like, (laughs) I don't think this is going to be helpful for you. It's going to be helpful for us, but I don't think it's going to help you at all. And that's, you know, some dark and morbid humor for you. But but it's true. I've heard stories uh, from grievers, from listeners of the show, from people in support groups that I've worked in where they literally say, I wake up and I start counting. One, two three and they get to 60 and they start it all over again. And so they're counting seconds. And then as the hours go by, they count those. And as the, the like afternoon to morning to evening, all of that cyclical goes around, they count that. And then they count the next day. And I'm like, if you have to count every single minute that goes by, great. Just do that. Um, Because it's like your nose is pressed up to the glass of it. Like you're too close. You haven't zoomed out. You can't zoom out. It just happened. Like it's just not possible. Yeah, it's just, and I, like I say, it's everybody sees things different in mm-hmm. how they process it. And, and you know, one, one thing will work for you, one thing, it won't work for me. But I love how you, you and I can laugh because people are just, a lot of people are just so, they don't want to talk about death and they don't want to talk about the loss. And I think it's so important because, the worst thing you can do to me is is not ask me, you know, how my son lived or what he was like, because that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about him in his life. I hope you enjoyed this in the meantime episode of Coming Back. If you'd like to listen to my full conversation with Richard Pryor, go back and listen to episode 85 of Coming Back called Taking the Butterflies and Rainbows Out of Grief with Richard Pryor. That's all for this episode of Coming Back in the meantime. I can't wait to return to you with full-length episodes in Season 7, which kicks off on Wednesday, September 4th. Here's where you can catch me between now and then. Now through August 31st, you can enter to win a copy of Modern Loss by Rebecca Sofer and Gabrielle Berkner, and And Then I Got Fired by J. Mace III over on my website, shelbyforsythia.com. Just enter your email to win. For grief support beyond this show, join me live online on August 26th at 8 p.m. Central over on my Patreon page. Just $1 unlocks the link to join us live where I'm taking your questions on grief and loss for a full hour. My book, Permission to Grieve, is coming out very, very soon. If you'd like to help me get the word out and get a free digital copy of the book once it's live and in the world, you can join my exclusive launch team on Facebook. You can find the link in the show notes for this episode. If you'd like to leave a question, comment, or guest suggestion for a future episode of Coming Back, email me at shelby at shelbyforsythia.com. I love hearing from you. 
as always, my dear grief growers, it was beautiful sharing this space and time with you today. I see you. I am proud of you and the work that you're doing in the world. And I love you. Because even through grief, we are growing. <laughs>